Right? Hello folks, I've got Harminda holding the camera for me. It's Dr. Rowe here, sorry about the sound, we're on site at the moment. Um, as you probably heard, there is an interest rate announcement coming in from the Bank of England, and basically with wasps flying around, with what's happening with coronavirus at the moment, they are concerned about public panicking, possibly people losing jobs or income freezes, companies struggling. So if you think about it from a bank's perspective, from the Bank of England, interest rates typically are lowered when there's a general mass fear of something. Classic examples, a Brexit type event, an economic meltdown, recession, or in this case, the coronavirus, which of course is impacting businesses. We're seeing airline companies struggling, uh, the events industry struggling, people running hotels, suddenly getting a depletion of clients coming through, the travel industry, all of those companies on the basis that they pretty much have borrowed money to keep those businesses afloat. So if you're a company and you've borrowed this much and you're paying interest on that every single month and your cash flow is impacted by those interest rates, lowering the interest rate means that your outgoing costs come down. If your outgoing costs come down, it gives you the opportunity to last longer in business as opposed to some of the big companies that are so highly leveraged one or two or three months lack in business or reduction in business and they're screwed. Same thing happens to property investors as well. So if you're watching this and you're running a business right now and you've borrowed money to keep your business afloat, that lowering of interest rate may be beneficial to you. But here's the challenge. If you're sat here and you're watching this as a property investor, just because they've My feeling is that's what the Bank of England are trying to do, but what we don't know is what type of mortgages people have. And actually, when you do get a change in interest rate, sometimes there's a lag between when the interest rate comes down and when it's passed on to the end client. Now, the hope is that it will be, because if the mass of the population are struggling right now, or a little bit nervous, or possibly their salaries have gone down, or they're losing their jobs, then the whole idea is that the cost of that borrowing is cheaper for the mass population. It enables them to be able to survive longer in a time of crisis. Now, I don't actually think this is the only crisis we're facing. If it comes down to 0.25 and the intention is to bring it back up again, I have another view on this, and if you've been watching the previous webinars that I ran, you may know that I talk about the fact that in times of crisis, ahead of a crisis, what the banks will often do is in preparation for lowering it, they will bring interest rates up. So we previously had our interest rates go from 0.25 to 0.5 to 0.75, and if you've been to some of the seminars I've been running over the last year, I said it might even go up to 1% in preparation for when there's another recession where they typically will bring it back down again. So we've had a drop because of coronavirus. But let's say that scare goes away and the banks say, okay, everything's good again, and they start to bring it up a couple of clicks to 0.75 again. And then bang, we hit the next recession, which is due because the last one was in 2008, and here we are 2020, and the whole thing's been delayed there's a very good chance that it might come back up and go back down again, which if you think about what's happening with fixed rate mortgages at the moment, they're extremely low and they're doing five, 10 year fixed rate mortgages at a very low percent. So my gut feeling is we're gonna see it stay low for a while. How does it benefit you at the moment? I actually don't know. If you're watching this and you're owning a business and you've got a loan out, or if you're, if you're watching this, again, seek professional advice for an independent financial advisor. But a good strategy, and I'm going to do this myself today, is to go and find out from the banks that I've got. We have a, variable, a variable rate interest on our mortgages or on our loans. What I'm going to do is call the bank, call the bank, and ask them: Is this change in interest rate? actually going to have an impact on the loan that I have with you. And I don't know if the bank's gonna go, oh no, actually no, it's an emergency rate so it doesn't impact the loan I've got with you. Or actually, yes, the Bank of England have done this and we wanna pass it on to you to help you out. Now my hope is the bank is gonna say, we wanna help you out, but we don't know. So that's a good strategy right now to do is maybe give a call to your lenders, give a call to the loan companies that you borrow money from, and find out if that interest rate's gonna be passed on to you or whether actually, it's not going to impact you. Now I can't see why they wouldn't do that, bearing in mind the Bank of England have done this as a precautionary measure, as a safety measure to try and keep people a little bit calm at this stage. 
So look out for that. Um, over the coming days, I'll give you some further commentary if we get any more news. And if I get any correspondence from one of my lenders telling me, oh, by the way, Dr. Rowe, interest rates have been dropped and we're going to pass it on to you, I'll let you know so you can 